Hey guys, my name is Sanjiraj. In this video, I'll be basically teaching you how to make this Code Academy login page clone. So this is just a clone using this. So this and this basically looks almost similar, but we are only focusing on the login page. We are not focusing on the nav bar. Uh, only this part we also have this hover effects going on and all the links and everything we have everything right here um, so we could do any import and click login and it's just gonna do the basic stuff it's not gonna do any backend uh, so let's just get started we, we are gonna be using HTML and CSS only uh, not JavaScript so let me open up a new file uh, not this way uh, basically I have an image uh, images folder with all the images and I'll also have the link to it in the description and also I'll create a style.css and first of all in the HTML we just need uh, a basic HTML I would say a boilerplate and name I wanna uh, the title I wanna give is code care demi login page clone and i want to link the style.css we've not done anything yet but we are just gonna link it first of all we need a container in which we are gonna have the width and everything and then inside we need a header where we are gonna be placing our logo so inside the header we want to say h1 and i'm gonna say login to code academy and once that's done um, I want to open up my live server so I'm using an extension called live server you guys can download it using Visual Studio Code if you're using that from the sides you can actually use it so it's gonna open up in Mozilla Firefox because that's what the live server is connected to so here it says login to code academy so once that's done we want to make the form itself so sorry I want to make a form we don't need any action we're not using any PHP uh, so we need a label which says email or username mm. email or username and after that we need an input with a type of text where we get the email um, so that there's that I wanna copy this and paste it multiple times uh, I mean two times so here I would say password and input type is password and after that I actually want a link which says I forgot my password so in case the user forgets his password we want him to click on that so it says I forgot my password and as you, as you can see I actually have the code academy uh, actual um, the normal website itself here so get the idea from that and after the form we actually need a submit button which is essential so input with a type of submit and the value I want to give is uh, log in so that's about it for the form and after that I want to focus on the footer so deal with a class of footer. I'm actually using Emmet, uh, which is uh, an abbreviation. It likes uh, like if I want to make an ID, I put hashtag and put main, and it's gonna bring up a div with an ID. So it's just Emmet. If you using Visual Studio Code, you could download it. Uh, regardless, we can. Yeah, we are gonna put a class with footer, and inside that we need an H3 call. Um, sorry, um, login with another account and of that we need a bunch of images so as you can see it says login with another account and after that we have some images with some hover effects that's what we want to cover now I'm sorry. Um, I want the spelling to be correct on this um, so after that I'm gonna use all my images that I have um, I want to first of all I want to make a div with a class of images and I wanna put everything in it. Um, sorry for the sound guys, it's just um, that. So images, uh, there is five of them. So one, two, three, four, and 
5 so let me just show you all the images that I have in here 5 dot jpegs I'm sorry about that uh, um, once this is done we can actually take a look at our um, website this is what it looks like um, it's not working one dot png ah okay only the last one is png um uh, only the last one's jpeg so here you can see that's the basic html so let's start working with our css so in the css basically we want the basic styling which is margin zero and padding zero and box sizing border box now if you are not used to css variables that's what we're going to be using today you guys can get some of some idea through this so basically we define it with a head of root which uh, enables us to uh, access this variables alongside like uh, throughout our css so first we need a main color which is a hex code 6400E4 there's that and after that we need a box shadow and this is going to be 0 pixels 3 pixels 5 pixels and 0 pixels and we need a RGBA with 000 and 0 0.34 once that's done we want a hover shadow which is also going to be 0, point 0 pixels 4 pixels, 4 pixels and 0 pixels and we need an RGBA with um, 3, 3, 3 and uh, 0 0.561. I'm actually getting all these values from my laptop at the side. Uh, uh, so after that we need a variable called nav shadow which is also going to be 0 pixels, 0 pixels. 10 pixels and 0 pixels which is going to be RGBA 0 0 0 0 0.100 now this is actually the way we define variables so if, if you are confused with that and after that we need a variable called light I'm sorry light black which is going to be a hex code of 141C3A I'm sorry that's supposed to be 14 and um, there's that and after that we want to give the styling for the body which is go I'm gonna use a font called new nonito I actually leave it in the description it will be on my github and after that we want to start styling our nav uh, not nav um, what do we start styling we want to start styling our container so let's start on that so the container width I want to give is 28% and that's the person that is used by Code Academy I guess because that's what fits the image so we want to give a margin 100 pixels from the top and bottom and auto on the left and right so if you look we have that aligned out of that there's a lot to work on by the way so the form we want to display it as flex because we want to align uh, some stuff to the center and stuff flex direction is going to be column and we need a margin of sorry, 30 pixels and 0 30 pixels from the top and bottom and 0 from the left and right and after we want to access the form label and we want to make we want to give it some margin from the top and bottom and from the left we need zero out that uh, we need to access the form input uh, where the type is equals to text and also we want to access the input I remember we also have a type with name password so we want to access both of it so we want to give some basic styling for the inputs. So 
we want to give a height of 55 I'm sorry uh, height 55 pixels and margin from the top 5 pixels and 0 from the left and right and we want to give a border so 0 0.5 pixels solid and use a hex code right here b8 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 5d so that's the hex code and after that we need a border radius which is gonna be 3 pixels we want it to be a little bit curved and we need some padding which is gonna be 0 and 15 pixels from the left and right and we want the font size to be a little bit bigger which is 20 pixels and also we want to adjust the font family because uh, fonts don't get accessed by uh, inputs I guess so that's done so if we take a look this is how it should look like the basic one this is what we have so after that we should start styling our links so form a tag a tag we want the margin on top to be 10 pixels on the left and right we need 0 and we also need to get rid of the underline so text decoration none and we want to set the color and this is what this is how we access the variables we say var brackets and we type in the name so I say main color and I put the font weight to be bold so that's what it looks like after we want to style the button uh, basically the input with the type of submit what we want to put is height of 50 pixels and the background I want to put the main color which we set at the top so font size I want to say is uh, 20 pixels and also the font family mm. uh, sans serif and after that we want to give a border of none so we don't want that border and after that we, we don't want the border radius sorry guys for that sound so we want the color to be white and we also want a box shadow this is kind of a complicated uh, styling um, I know I'm going too fast but I'm so sorry uh, if you guys have any doubts you guys can leave it in the comments so after that we need a cursor pointer that's like it's almost done so also we want to add a hover effect like it's almost done so we want to add an hover effect so uh, let me copy the same thing right here and uh, we want to uh, add a hover we want to make the box shadow a little bit bigger so what I would do is make another variable we already made a variable called hover shadow and also we want it to go a little bit big a uh, little bit up so transform translate y which will take it up so y is it will take it up so 3 pixels if we go so it will take it like that so that's all we have for the inputs if you want to style the footer really quick uh, so with the class of footer uh, h3 we want the font size to be 16 pixels and we want the opacity to be fade out a little bit and after that we want to target the images so this is where uh, most of the time it was put on when I was making this project so we want to display it flex so it's like stacked uh, next to each other so we want the height to be 10 VH which is viewport height and we want to align the items center and we want to justify content space around and we want to give some margin top around 
15 pixels so if we see that's kind of like that's too big the icons are too big so we can adjust that at the bottom so let me copy this we are going to access the images the separate images which i which is in that class so we want the width um, to be 15 percent so we want it to be really small so the border i want it to be one pixels solid e7 i'm sorry e7 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 so this is just the light color so we want some padding from all the sides and we need a border radius around 3 pixels not too much after that we need a transition because uh, we want to hover over it and we want to give it a effect 0.3 seconds ease so if you go you guys can see it's got a little bit of a good look so after that we want to add an hover effect so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna say hover and I want to give the box shadow to be the same variable that we mentioned on the top for the hover shadow um, somewhere yeah right here for the button so that's what we have there so once we hover we have that effect that's what we need so after that I want to make cursor point so of that last for the last part we want to uh, style the a tag which is at the last we want to float that to the right and we want to make the color a little bit stand out as the same color which is in the codec here and we want so if you go to the uh, website we have the link here it's the same one but it's at the side so we want to float it to the right so float right the color main color and we want to give some margin which is 10 pixels and 0 from the top and bottom so we've got the basic one going we've got everything done um, uh, I, I'm sorry I didn't add the a tag we don't want it to go anywhere um, what was the text I want to copy the text right here mm. uh, I want to make this inside a strong tag so it's bold uh, if you if you're not used to this HTML attributes I'll actually leave a link to the uh, link to a video of Travis media where he teaches you the modern HTML stuff so this is what we have so this is like uh, this is uh, yeah it's similar to the page that we are trying to style which is the code academy website itself so if we have it side by side uh, that's the same thing we have so here if we look that's the same thing we have that so that's about for the video guys hope you enjoy uh, hope you like this tutorial so if you want more tutorial I want you guys to please subscribe to my channel and if you guys have any coding video ideas I want you guys to comment it down below and also follow me on Instagram and that's about it for the video the code is in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one bye